Marcus, you've had a couple close games in your career, but, uh, you know, like especially against Stanford, but they've ended in losses. So can you talk a little bit how you feel about ending it in a win this time? I mean, yeah, it feels good, first and foremost. Um, you know, come out with a victory. Um, you know, it's just to be able to battle through some adversity, uh, it feels good uh, at the end. I mean, it feels great, to be honest with you. You know, those guys in the locker room really battled, and, um, you know, just it, feel, it feels really good to come out with a victory. Next question, right here. Next. Marcus, what did uh, Coach Helfrich say to the offense before you guys went on the final drive? He said, like he usually says, just he was calm, cool, collected, and he just said, just take it one play at a time and um, just finish. You know, we were, we were driving the ball most of the game, uh, but we weren't cashing in on our on our uh, drives. So, you know, we had the confidence just to go out there and, and just execute. And um, you know, the, the time, the offensive line did an awesome job giving some time, and you know, the guys. The receivers did a great job of just catching the ball, and um, you know we're just kind of able to execute and, and just finish. Right here, talk about the the connection you had all night with Josh Huff. Uh, that guy's a warrior, um, and uh, you know he's he's been doing plays like this his whole career, and um, you know I, I have all the confidence and all the trust in the world in that guy, and um, you know he made big play after big play, and um, you know it's huge. And, um, you know, it's a good way to kind of send him out of, uh, you know, his career. But again, I mean, he's been doing this his whole his whole career here, and uh, he's a special player. We have Tony Washington in there. Question right here. Marcus, can you talk about after last week, uh, just kind of the resolve that this team showed in coming back and taking care of business in one of the most important games, really, of the year? Right. Um, you know, just be able to kind of, like I said, battle through some adversity, you know, what, with what we had to deal with last week. And then, um, you know, beginning of this this game um, just shows a lot about the character in, in that locker room. Um, you know, we have that kind of, you know, just continue to, to push through attitude. And, um, you know, I'm proud of those guys, you know, but we can't let this stuff, you know, kind of trickle in. We got to continue just to keep getting better and, and focus on just, you know, taking care of our assignments and, you know, not letting not letting little things, little details, you know, kind of hurt us. So again, you know, I'm proud of those guys in the locker room, but again, we can always get better. Any more? Right up here. Thanks. Mark, Marcus, how much, how much is this month off before, or how, you know, a few weeks before right. the bowl game, how much is that going to, going to help in terms of getting you 100% healthy going into that bowl game? Uh, yeah. I mean, this, this next couple weeks or however long, um, you know, this break is, it's going to be, you know, huge for me. Um, you know, it's 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 a special time for us to kind of just get get ready academically, but also you know get healthy. Um, you know, I'm not the only one that's banged up. There's a lot of guys in the locker room that, you know, really need to just kind of get off their feet a little bit and and get healthy. So, um, you know, we're gonna take these these next couple of weeks off and and uh, just focus up on school and just make sure we we finish in that regard. But again, just you know, get healthy. Right here in the middle. Marcus, it's obviously been kind of a rough month. Obviously, tonight's a good win, but um, it's been rough. And I, I wonder how much that's affected your confidence and if you could talk about that and then also what you've learned about yourself this year moving forward. Right. Uh, I think I've learned the most about myself in the last month. Um, you know, and just it, it has been a rough month, um, obviously, you know, with those couple losses. But, you know, just to battle through it, um, kind of just go through a little bit of obstacles, um, cause it's not all easy. It's not, you know, going to be easy. So, um, you know, just kind of push through those things. You know, I learned that, you know, I can always kind of dust myself off and, and just make sure that, you know, no matter what, you know, you can always get better and, and focus on just, you know, being a leader. So, um, again, this last month, you know, we've learned a lot about our team, learned a lot about, uh, the guys in the locker room, but at the same time, you know, we just always can get better and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to just these next couple weeks of, you know, looking back and, and making sure that I can always improve on different things. Marcus, what was it like for you going out for that final drive? It couldn't have been just like any other drive. What what was going through your mind? I, you know, <clears throat> I try to just kind of focus on making sure that, you know, obviously I got to pay attention to the clock, but, you know, just not, not get, uh, not, not at the moment, you know, get the best of me. Um, you know, I've, I've always been taught that, you know, you got to kind of just be calm, cool and collected. That's kind of how I was raised. And, um, you know, I just kind of focused on making sure that I, I took care of my assignments, make sure I took care of the ball. And, um, you know, I wasn't trying to press, you know, I knew these guys in the locker room, um, were going to be able to get open and, you know, just give me some time. So, you know, it, it was, to me, it was kind of a, another drive, but at the same time, you know, like you said, you can't, you can't overlook what, what that, that really meant.
Marcus, similar question, but what were you saying to your teammates? Uh, obviously, you guys don't huddle, so not in the huddle, but on the sideline and maybe during Braylon, the review for Braylon's non-catch when you guys had a little time, what did you tell personally? Not what, you know, you were asked what Mark said to you, but what did you tell your teammates? I just told them, look, we're, we're, we're already down here, um, and just, just finish. You know, we, we were here three or four times in the, in the, earlier in the game, and we just had to go out there and just finish it. And, um, you know, the guys took it, in, you know, upon themselves to just go out there and, and execute their assignments the best that they could. And like I said, I'm proud of those guys, man. I mean, you know, the battle through the amount of adversity that we've, we've had to deal with, um, you know, they, they really just were stubborn about it and went and just did their business. And, you know, again, credit goes to those guys. They did a really good job. Yeah, Marcus, uh, can you talk about what this <clears throat> win means to you guys, your state of mind going into your bowl game? And also, how do you feel about the bowl options you guys have now? What bowl games you might go to? Yeah, um, you know, it's kind of a... You know, ten and two is a lot better than nine and three. And um, you know, where where we're sitting, obviously, you know, we <clears throat> we've kind of gone through all our games, and now we kind of got to wait and see where we're where we're placed. So, um, you know, it, it it doesn't change our mentality. We're going to continue just to get better every single day. Um, whatever challenge they put in front of us, you know, we're just going to make sure we're prepared and and ready to go. Right here. Marcus, what were you thinking there in the uh, last couple minutes? You know, Oregon State was basically just sort of, <laughs> you know, going down, slowly going down, running the clock down, and then, boom, they score on a fly sweep. Right. Leaves you guys plenty of time on the clock. Did you realize that at that point? Yeah, you know, I was I was kind of hoping we'd get a chance with the ball. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't want them to run out the clock and just have that opportunity to kick the field goal. So, you know, I was kind of hoping we'd get a chance, um, but – at the same time, I knew that our defense was going to do their best. And, you know, unfortunately, it, it happened the way they did. But, um, you know, we just had the mentality of just going out there and, and taking care of business. You know, Coach Alvarez, just like I said earlier, was, you know, taking one play at a time and finish it. And, um, you know, we we just went out there and tried to handle it. Uh, we didn't press. And like I said, I'm proud of those guys in the locker room. Hey, um, Heisman votes are due a week or from Monday. Do you feel like this regular season you've been the best player in college football? I have no comment about that. I mean, it's honestly, it, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, the Heisman Trophy is given to the best player, but I mean, that's, that's an individual accolade. And, you know, I've come to learn here that, you know, individual accolades mean nothing. And um, to be able to come out with this win tonight uh, with, with the team, uh, it just means a lot. Just to be able to get back on our rhythm. And um, whatever that stuff does, that's, you know, out of my control. And I'm, you know, quite frankly, not, not too concerned about it. Obviously, you represent University of Oregon, but also Hawaii to have the Hawaiian flag behind the bench. Fans wearing lay, Shaka being thrown everywhere, Hawaii five zero playing. What does that mean to you? Uh, first of all, how you doing? Nice to see you. Um, you surprised me, really. I didn't think you were out here. Um, but it means, it means the world. Um, to be able to represent where I come from, um, you know, it means, it means the world to me. And I understand that, you know, I have to make the most of every single opportunity because, you know, where I come from, sometimes guys aren't given that opportunity. And, um, you know, I, I, I just love the fact that, you know, I come from Hawaii. It's truly a blessing. And uh, I'll never take that for granted. Um, and just to see the, you know, the different specs in the crowd, you know, you got the Hawaiian flag in the student section. And, you know, that stuff is, it means, it means a lot to me, really. And, um, you know, it means a lot to, to where we come from. So, um, you know, be able to, to have that support, to have that love from home, um, you know, it's, it's a special thing. Marcus, does that final drive stand out in your career? Is it your most favorite drive? Is it the most special drive? Or Yeah. Um, you know, I, I've had several drives, but, you know, that, that probably sticks out the most. Um, you know, it means, it means a lot to this team. It means a lot to, you know, this community. And, um, you know, just to be able to play in the Civil War, is, it's, a, it's an honor. But to be able to win it the way we did and to go out and, you know, hand these seniors, you know, that win, um, it means a lot. And, uh, you know, I, I would say that's probably one of the, the best best drives of my career. Two more questions right here, Victor. Marcus, can you just describe that, that play again, the one to, to Huff to put you guys ahead? Can you describe exactly how kind of great that felt to you? Yeah. Um, you know, they, they kind of came out on the look where uh, I knew I would have Josh – if he just got across, and um, I tried to hold the defenders as long as I could to the left side so he would get some space. And, um, you know, Carl Fang, it was a bad throw. Uh, Huff, Huff made a great catch. And, um, you know, that, 
I, I told him, I said, thank you, man, because that would have looked bad if, if you didn't catch it. But, um, you know, at the same time, that, that's the, that guy's been making plays like that his entire career. And um, I trusted him. I had all the confidence in the world, and I knew if I threw it in that area, you know, that dude was going to come down with it. And, um, you know, it felt good once he caught it. Um, it was a special, a special moment. And, um, you know, I'm just I'm happy and blessed to be a part of it. Brian Jackson's in the interview room. We're at the last Mark, right Marcus, you said earlier this week that you're going to wait till the end of the season to make any decisions regarding the NFL. But any part of you at all feel any type of emotion that this might be your last game here? Uh, I, <laughs> you know, I, I haven't I haven't put a lot of thought into it. Um, you know, to see the seniors walk out with their families, um, that's a special moment. And, um, you know, that's that's something that, you know, if 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 it entails, that'd be something cool to be a part of. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, my family's out here this weekend, and I'm sure we'll, we'll discuss that now that, you know, the season's over with. Um, but at the same time, you know, I, I love those guys in the locker room, and uh, I love this university, I love this community, and um, it's a, it holds a special place in my heart. And, um, you know, whatever the decision is, it's going to be the best for my, it's going to be the best decision for my family. And, um, you know, I'm going to take some time and, and we're kind of going to weigh out the options and, and we'll see where that takes us. Thanks, Marcus. Thanks, Thank Marcus. you. The Anthony is in the